Hey Shibi Doodles, how are you doing? I'm taking a little time to get the style and everything for this channel together and, and, and schedules and things like that. I'll sort of, it, it'll all be up and running soon and I'll let you know how it's going. A few people like R Springer, perhaps H and Colvich has asked me questions about shading. And then I got a, a question, a message from Ixan Adams saying, could I draw Demo? Well, I'd never heard of Demo, so I typed it in and had a look. I thought, oh, that's not really me. And then I thought, well, actually, that's all about shading. So I thought maybe I could sort of do a thing about this character, Demo, and all about shading. So Demo is actually looks like it's done digitally. So I've done a, a, an iPad version. I've done a little drawing version, and I've done a watercolor version to show you different ways and techniques and to talk about the shading on it, because it's quite interesting, the shading. It's a very sad kind of feel to the whole thing. I think it's obviously D-Emo. And the character kind of carries its own light source with it. It always has the light coming from the same angle as it moves about. And it has a different lighting to everything else around, which kind of gives it this ethereal quality, which is very clever. But hey, let's not talk about it. <laughs> let's do it. Now to give you a rough idea of what's going on digitally, I'm using my iPad and this is a program called paper 55 I think paper or something anyway so I'm going to choose the pen and I don't think this is quite the best program for doing this and well, it's not going to get it exactly right but it was going to be, give you a rough idea and I think you'll find on the digital kind of version this has been drawn around a few times with a slight transparency so that it kind of builds up and then I'm going to add now some so-called watercolour and we've got the light sort of coming in from the back there and so I'm going to sort of build up on top we need it to be quite dark here and so we got sort of something like this <laughs> and again we've got this kind of light coming in from behind it, it kind of adds a mystery to the character but the character has their own kind of lighting coming from behind, which makes them mysterious. It's kind of like they're sort of in another world being lit from a different place. And then we're going to want these kind of eyes. So they will be painted white right on the top. So this is very much painting. We've got this kind of bow tie thing going on. Like that. So that gives you an idea of sort of roughly how it works digitally. Essentially, we've got uh, this kind of outline. And kind of <laughs> I think I'm making him look too exuberant I think he's kind of meant to look a bit kind of miserable I think he's meant to look a bit more morose really uh, <laughs> sad rather than miserable so what is going on is it's a very kind of very high light source is sort of coming down this way so I think the eyes are probably a bit higher up actually in fact I'm going to do that I think they're more kind of like that so you have this really dark area down here and around the eyes which I've gone over a bit so this is why it's difficult doing it in pencil and then it's getting much lighter up here and then again it's really dark under here and you're going to get a little bit of light just sh oh, showing on the shoulders not kind of gone over the top and you're going to get it showing up on the top there as well. And there's a little bit of kind of ambient light around there, but around the side of the waist, but then that's getting really, really dark around there. So the thing is, as far as shading is concerned, is to remember this light is here. And because it's a pencil, I can actually erase some of this here to get that a bit lighter. So to th remember the light is sort of coming from this way so that it will be shining there. Here it is really dark, but you're getting a little bit of kind of ambient light coming in un underneath um, on, on the chest there. And you're going to get it over on the top sort of edge edges. And you're going to get it on the top edges there too. So let's see what happens in watercolour. So I'm not using black. I'm using this thing called neutral tint. You can use uh, Payne's Grey, Davies Grey, something like that. And I'm going to start off by just sketching out the body. And then I've let that just dry a bit. <laughs> and now I'm going to draw in roughly where I think these eyes are going like that and then I'm going to paint 
paint around them and then I've got to sort of keep working while it's wet now and so now this brush of course works differently to another uh, to normal water <laughs> watercolor kind of brushes because the water is in the handle and it just keeps flowing so I'm going to let that I've sort of wet the top area and I'm letting this kind of flow into that area and then I want to have more around here to make it really dark but while it's still wet and it's quite warm today so it's going to dry possibly quite quickly so I have to kind of let this flow into that wet area so you get that nice smooth gradation and we want this to be really dark down here and then we got this little bow tie and I'm just going to do a kind of a dark little sort of V neck bit there going there like that and then we need to have this really quite dark down here and then that's kind of slightly lighter and then now getting rid of all the color off the the brush and I'm going to wet this top area of the arms and then I'm going to let that area kind of flood into it so that you get this kind of paleness on the top and then I'm going to carry on out like that and make this really dark here too. So now I've let that dry and I'm going to come back on top again and and you'll find that this is, is done by, it's kind of drawn in circles, so I'm not quite getting that right and I think digitally it's in, uh, I'm drawing it too dark probably I think, I think digitally it's quite transparent so it kind of builds on top of itself and then I want to get this darker on the edges and have it a bit darker under there and again I'm just washing out my brush and I think that can be just not quite so dark on the bow tie like that so that'll give you a brief idea how to draw the character but it'll also it's also showing how to do this kind of shading and, and thinking of where the light's coming in and there you go how to draw demo in watercolor well thanks for watching and do make sure that you are subscribed to the shoe rainer drawing channel here on youtube uh, for lots more drawing videos mm, all the time <laughs> in the meantime keep drawing 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 practice 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 and i'll see you next time you take care now bye bye